All right, Phoenix, go ahead and cut in. Hey, we are back, man. It's your boy, Young Jack Thriller, man. It's New Jack Thriller City. And uh, I got an amazing guest in here, man. You know, this is football royalty. You know, one of the greatest uh, 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 quarterbacks of all time from Georgia Tech, Detroit Lions. And, uh, you know, he he's an accomplished uh, uh, entrepreneur, owns his own gym. He did the right thing with the money. <laughs> and uh, he has one of the most poppinest uh, podcasts out right now, alongside my dog, uh, Nav Green and um, uh, 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 Lou Young. Y'all give it up right now for the legend, Reggie Ball. Awesome, man. Thank you, Jack. That was that was amazing. Thank you. Hey, it was so it was a lot more um to go with that too, man. But I I can't believe uh, what what I'm hearing that like yo, your mom and dad had three kids that went to the NFL. Yeah, uh, that's that's nuts. Yeah, uh, my dad uh he actually had uh five boys, and out of the five, four of us have has, has touched the league. Um, Boy, y'all went to the NFL. Yeah. My mom, all, all three of her uh, her kids, her boys, all three of us, we uh, we touched the, the professional ranks. Two NFL, uh, one CFL in Arena League, and then the other two got some professional exposure. And I still have one little brother up there with the New York Jets right now, uh, Marcelino Ball. So make sure y'all follow him if you're a football fan. But, yeah, we, we still at Even it. if you ain't, follow him. Damn right. Still got some balls on the field. Love, man. love my homeboy ball. Better ball. Follow him. Please, and, and you gotta you gotta fill me in because I don't I want to know what is it if sure. one to have a, you know that type of success for yourself, but another thing you know just to have lineage. What is that like when you find out you 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 got siblings that's going to the pros? Uh, so it's, it's a beautiful thing. It's a rewarding thing. Um, I'm a, I'm always a, an advocate for leading by example. So uh, people family members, uh, kids, siblings behind you, they should do better. You know what I'm saying? They should stand on the shoulder, shoulders of the giants before them. So um, that's a reminder that I somewhat did my job. You know what I'm saying? My dad did his job. Um, our moms did our job. You know what I mean? So it's a compliment to everybody involved just to see the continued success for, for everybody, man. It's just it's a beautiful thing, man. I'm, I'm, I'm very lucky and grateful for it, for real. How do your brothers feel, man? And do they feel you feel like they share the, the, the same sentiment when it comes to your success? Oh yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, I know my brothers are very proud of me. Um, when I'm when I'm not around, I know they speak highly of me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Whether they know it or not, whether it's somebody coming back and telling me, or it's just you know they flat out telling me they sell. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So um, to have that respect, that big, I'm I'm the oldest. You know what I mean? Of but course. To have the respect from everybody. Um, again, it's, it's 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 a testament of me, I guess, just having good intentions and doing, you know, what I was supposed to do for the most part. You know, what when, I mean? when you say lead by the example, too, I could I can imagine being, you know, a, a, a younger brother and everything, yeah. and saying to myself, "Damn, I could possibly make it to the league too," because yeah. I got the same thing he got in him, or it could intimidate you. Yeah, uh, you, it's two ways that you can go. But luckily, they took that, like, like as an, uh, uh, I guess, a, a method of motivation. They didn't take it as, uh, they did, they weren't intimidated by it. It wasn't no pressure. They didn't nah. feel the pressure. Like, I mean, I put all the pressure Dad, on you wanted to be like Reggie, but I can only be Marcellus. <laughs> Who the hell is Marcellus? Uh, <laughs> Marcelino. Marcelino, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, but my dad never did that shit. My dad always, he always compartmentalized and treated us treated us as individuals. Of course, we'll work out together. You mm. know what I mean? We'll get together and get some things done. He, he we'll ain't break never break. throw he ain't never throw you in their faces? Hell nah. Okay. Nah, that was that was a, a unique and beautiful thing that my dad did and still does to this day. He still separates each individual. And that that he's teaching me as a father, you know mm. what I mean, how to handle my kids as well. So To this uh, day. Shout out to my dad for for handling it like like he's still doing. Obviously, your daddy know what he's doing, man. When it comes to grooming a football star, oh, yeah. like, do you do? Is can, did you catch on to what the formula was? Um, what did he do? He just taught. My dad teaches you how to work, but more importantly, he teaches you how to keep your mind strong. You know what I'm saying? My dad is 
experienced a lot. He's he's done. He's been a Marine. He was a football player. He was a correction officer. He owned his own business uh, doing landscaping. Um, he was a uh, a power lifter who traveled all around the world. He placed second in the world one year. And the only reason why he placed second is because in the competition, he broke his rib in the competition. If it wasn't for him breaking his rib, he would have won. He would have been the most powerful man in the world. Um, so he instilled that hard work mentality. And, and given all the career changes he's, he's seeing, you know what I mean, he know how to deal with a curveball. He know how to take a punch and roll with the punches. You know what I'm saying? So he passed that on down to us, man. And, and so far, so good. Everybody's just handling their business. Hold on, who was your daddy daddy then? My dad is Reggie Ball. His who was dad, your daddy daddy? Uh, uh, Charles. And Charles. what did he do? Shit. That was a lot of shit you just named him. <laughs> it sounded like you were lying. Like, like, I, hold on, I, I, I'm dead ass serious. Marine. No, all of saved, saved a bunch of niggas' lives in Vietnam. What? Yeah, all that. So, I mean, his dad, his dad was very honest. His dad was brutally honest. His dad would tell you what a man would was doing. He'll tell you what a man would do. Mm. Uh, he'll tell you how a man would act. He would tell you there were roles, there were roles for both men and women. And you know, we're talking about back in the day, 60s, yeah. 70s. Yeah. Yeah. It's totally different right now from, you know, uh, for what we're accustomed to. Yeah. But yeah. my dad, my grandfather was brutally honest about everything. Mm. You know what I mean? So I think that uh, kind of molded my dad into, you know, the more, you don't bullshit, the better everything will kind of play out. Mm. Mm -hmm. Damn, man. Yeah. They, they got me wondering. Like I said, I know your great, great, great granddaddy was uh, helping slaves to freedom and all kind of shit. Yeah. I, well, shit, I mean, on his side, because I'm, 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 my mom's white and my dad is black. Your mom is white? Yeah. Yeah. So people find this that crazy. This is very yeah. interesting. Everybody look at her and say, think she's Puerto Rican or some other shit like that. Does she tell people white. that she's Puerto Rican? Hell nah. Okay. Nah, she ain't doing that. Okay. Uh, shout out to my mom. I love my mom, man. She she did a wonderful job with it. You, your, your mom is like a real white girl, white girl, white girl. The white girl with a short body that love the black boys. You know what time it is. Got you. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, but she, she, um, but you know what's unique about my mom? She know how to play that card, too. You know what I mean? So if, let's say, for instance, Cold I went to a... Uh, a magnet program program elementary school. Okay. I don't know if you remember that. People, yeah, most people don't remember that. Yeah. That that was for the 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 school with the best program. Yeah. Will you'll get bust out there or whatever. Mm -hmm. My mom knew when to go to that school and and show her face and be like, hey, this is not just a a, norm, a, a regular nigga. Y'all just finna talk too crazy. Mm -hmm. She knew how to show her face. And be like, hey, I'm his mom. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And you know when a white woman comes up and speaks for you, sometimes that could garner a different. Level of, of respect. Did you understand that, or did you used to fight against that growing up? I understand it now. But, so it used to embarrass you back in the day, like, oh, niggas, my, dad, cause, my mama white. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, some sometimes. Yeah. Only because you know, once that happens, and me being light skinned mm. you know that that draws a line for some people. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Oh, he that's the white boy. Mm. He ain't really black. You know what I mean? And then on the other side, the white the white kids. Uh, that's still a nigga, you know mm. what I mean? His daddy black as hell. Mm. So it, it would draw a line in that respect, but I just hated it because it was my mama's coming up, and I ain't want my mama showing up for me. I wanted yeah. I wanted to handle my own business. Okay. I was one of those kids. So. Mm. But nah, shout out to my mom. She did a thing. That's what's up, man. Did I, 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 I'm, your story is like... Un oh, nah, bro. I got a book coming. Book coming. It's in the making right now. My, I just got off the phone with my manager. She was on my ass by making sure I get some shit done by a certain deadline. Mm. Which uh, you know, I, I'm I'm happy to say I'm pretty busy, mm. but uh, I, I got to get that book done ASAP. Got you. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this Friday Night Lights. You know, you you actually live that movie. Nah, for real. For he, real. Like he, being a college student, you know, uh, um, and a, a, pros, a prospect where everybody know, yo, he going to the league. Yeah. You know, the, the the ladies is choosing. They 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 plotting on you. Yeah. Um. You know, you got guys just jealous of you. You got Home, uh, um, people inside your your neighborhood protecting you, and you got folks betting against you. All that, yeah. Like, how do you how do you um, function as a young man? Man, you know it's crazy. I learned early, and um, I learned early how to deal with chaos. My parents were divorced. I think around the first or second grade for me, 
And uh, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I, at, at kindergarten, the first grade, I was walking myself to the bus stop. And again, I told you I was going to that M to M school. So yeah. everybody in the apartments, they they at this bus stop, and it's about 40, 50 kids. Mm. Uh all going to Stoneview. Mm. Uh, that's out in Latonia off covered the oh, highway. Boy. And I'm the only kid at this bus stop at the next block up getting bust off over the Pine Ridge, which is over in uh, Stone Mountain area. Mm. So uh that taught me a lot just to be an individual. Um I was leading my brothers a lot. I was somewhat of the man of the house, so I always implemented the rules and shit. So my brothers didn't too much like me. They they teamed up on my ass more often than not. Your brothers? Yeah, because I was the disciplinarian. You know what I'm saying? I was the one saying, hey, man, we need to clean this shit up. We mm. need to put our clothes up. We need to, you know, uh, kind of reel shit in and not just go crazy and put all that pressure on mama. So, mm. you know, it was... I learned early was how to just deal with that shit. Or was you you being a responsible big brother? Both. Okay. Both. Got you. Because I mean, Honest. again, Honest. man, you talking about it's not my my the brother after me is maybe a year and a half or two years younger than me, and then the one after him is a year younger than him. So we all close in age. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So and shit, all my younger brothers aside from one are bigger than me. You know what I mean? So I would have to use somewhat of a. a Aggressive nature. And that bullying shit to kind of get my point across at times, but not often. You know, we were, we were pretty good kids for the most part. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. So get, talk to me about this college stuff, though. Get, oh, the it, college shit? Yeah, yeah. I, I want to know. Hey, bro. It, yeah, what is it like being that nigga? Jack. So. In college. It's one thing because niggas stop being that nigga after high school and they don't know what to do with their life. Shout out to but that. But now it's another level. So high school was Georgia Tech. High school was yeah. like that real Friday nights varsity blues type shit. Yeah, yeah. It really was that shit, and we had that on the east side of Atlanta. I'm, I'm talking about. I played with my guys that I, that I grew up with since I was six, seven years old. Wow. And we played all the way through high school. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So it was one of those type of environments. Okay. Probably like the last of a dying breed of that shit for okay. real, for real. But when when I got to college, bro, I, mean, I ain't gonna lie to you, Jack. They should have kicked my ass out after that first semester. But you was that good though. For real. That they had let My level, fight. no, bullshit. If you go look at my transcripts, uh-huh. I should have been kicked out of Georgia Tech. I believe it. After that first semester. I believe it. I know you was them one eight of them. 8 o'clock classes, uh, classes, them 7 a.m. study halls, mm-hmm. them 6 a.m. runs for mm-hmm. me missing classes and shit. It, was, it That was a, little, a bit too much, and it was a whole total, like, uh, cultural shock. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They passed the shit out your ass. Like a motherfucker. Mm. But uh, You're making that I'm, I'm thankful that for it. I'm thankful, exactly. Yeah. And now them NIL deals is out. How you I'm, feel about I'm it? I'm pissed off, boy. Ah. I'm pissed off. A four-year starting quarterback. Think about that shit. I can only imagine what that looked like. They not even testing for weed right now, <laughs> Jack Thriller. <laughs> That's Come crazy. on, bro. So they not <laughs> testing for weed. Yeah. They ain't testing for this. They yeah. ain't testing for that. And, and you getting paid under the table. Yeah. I know and the, la- the last quarterback that I actually paid attention to with uh-huh. the NIL deal, he ended up transferring out. Uh-huh. He had a fucking sponsorship with Benz. He driving around campus in a fucking Benz. Mm. And I don't think he won three goddamn games the whole time he was God there. damn. But, you know. Then there's that. It is what it is. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it, it, it genuinely makes it hard to be happy for the new kids, right? Well, we, we, talk, we had this conversation before about being the first stone. Yeah, be, yeah. And how that first stone yeah. is not appreciated until after the fact in mm-hmm. the history books and shit like mm-hmm. that. But, you know. I heard Andre Ryzen talking with. about it too and whatnot. And it, you know, he it's he he uh he seems to be cool with it, but at the same time, like these motherfuckers getting these hundred and Yeah, but you you gotta make peace with it. Otherwise yeah. you're gonna go fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah. Living in the past and that type of shit. I mean, you on just some gotta, Al Bundy shit. Come on now, I ain't finna be that. Yeah. I ain't finna be no Al Bundy. Yeah. Yeah. Drifting off and whatnot. Uh, Dad's doing it again. Well, shit, if you got that bad, if I got a badass wife like Peggy Bundy, I, I yeah. might be able to settle down. With Peggy Bundy, fine as mother. She was fine as hell. Yeah, yeah, she was. She, she went, went under the radar. How fine she was. She went no under the radar. She was fine. People don't talk about it when they talk about um like sitcom moms like and that. Shit, shit. I did. I watched Married with Children. I ain't get half of them goddamn jokes. But I love seeing that little bus come out, to, come around the corner, come down those yeah, stairs. But yeah, you know what time? And it is. fucking Christina Applegate too. <laughs> Which one? Oh, that was the, the daughter. The, the, yeah, the daughter, Kelly, Kelly Bundy. Yeah, Kelly, she was cool. But I love. Oh, the yeah. <laughs> now nah, the mom. You you like the you like the pig because she was a hoe. <laughs> 
probably so. And, and uh, <laughs> probably Christina so. Applegate, she was she was more trashy. She was dumb as hell. She, I think that yeah. I couldn't I couldn't stand that shit. Yeah, I can't yeah. I can't stand no dumb girl. Bro. Yeah, me neither, man. Can't Not in real life. Shit, but you know, uh, shout out to Peggy Bundy. Yeah. Me, me and my dog was just talking about this yesterday about, you know what I'm saying, old TV moms yeah. and whatnot. And, uh, like, the first woman I ever fell in love with was Claire Huxtable. Oh, everybody. I was five everybody. years old. I ain't know what I wanted everybody. to do that lady. Man, I wanted. I tried to find a girlfriend like Claire. Yeah. And I tried. You won't. And I tried. You won't. Every girlfriend, I, I was like, are oh, you going to be my Claire? Yeah. You know what I mean? Who was uh, uh, Run's wife, too? She reminded Justine. me. Justine. Yes, yeah, she She did. reminded me of yeah. Claire. She do. She, she did. Cute. And you know, she was cute. Well, she's cute too. You know yeah. what I mean? But yeah. that's, a, that's probably like the closest thing to Claire we don't have for me. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, nobody wanted Harriet Winslow. <laughs> Carl! <laughs> yeah, that deep ass raspy voice. Well, Steve, let me tell you something. <laughs> that fucking voice. I don't want sucking your dick. Nah, she, that she was a great mom, man, but yeah, I can't say, mom. you know, uh, she moved me in any certain, certain way. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Yeah. Molly! What's up? Hey, you know what's about that time again. Come on now. I know, it's Jack Beauty of the Week. You better tell a friend to tell a friend. And who but do we have here today? We got FIFA in the building. FIFA for fun. Ooh. Come ooh. on, look out, girl. Here I come. <laughs> FIFA flock of flames. Come on. Ooh. Come on, we got a live one. There you go. Where you from? I'm originally from New Jersey. Oh, okay. Yeah. What part? Patterson. Patterson. Yeah. Is that where Eastside Hyatt? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Patterson, New Jersey, they crazy as fuck out there. I got a homeboy named Ricky Rose. He he is a um a goddamn private chef. He Ooh. good in a motherfucking Patterson, New okay. Jersey. Yeah. Good. Oh my God. It's Ooh. yes, I love private food. shit. Yeah, he's amazing. I love food. Yeah. Is, uh, hit my dog Ricky Rose up out there. Okay. okay, facts. What's your sign? I'm a Gemini. Mm. That's the, the, that's we the, the best. That's the two-headed one, right? Um, I, I don't got two heads, but I can give two heads. Oh, I like that. Okay, that's what's up. Um, I like her. <laughs> I like her a lot. <laughs> what do you do, FIFA? Um, I sell pussy water. Holy cow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what does that mean? Um, It's just, you know what I'm saying? Uh, It means pussy water. Okay, Have, you, you. have you ever had any? Um, I've, 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 I've definitely uh, <laughs> drank out of some, um, yeah. some, some pussy only fountains. Okay. <laughs> Wait, is that like only fans for the pussy? Wait, it's, just, it's only like, it's only pussy for the squirters. Oh, like, okay, okay. Yeah, That's I'll, what this is in a bottle. You can't this touch is it. This is a bottle. It's, it's warm. Got you. You got to give it to them warm and they got to cool it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Put it on ice. What kind of nutrients are inside? What what properties are inside of Grab this pussy? Go back water? and look at the nutritional facts. Mm. Okay. It's got nothing at all. Okay. Mm, yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Zero percent calories, zero percent trans fat, saturated fat, everything. Everything's zero. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep it clean. I can mm. dig it. What, 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 like is it what does it smell like? That's mm. important. Because it, it ain't, ain't no smell out the side of the bottle. Oop, unless you smell it. Oh, <laughs> what does it smell like? It smell like... Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's all I ever wanted to hear. I'll take a sip. I'm good. I'll take a sip. I'm glad. Yeah, I would no. definitely take a sip out of that. That it smell like nothing. Yeah, yeah. 100%. That's a good sign. If, if it smells like nothing, it's water. The pussies. Yeah, okay. It's, On point. It's pussy yeah. in. Okay. It's pussy, pussy yeah. in. I like gotcha. that. I'm also, uh, I'm also an artist, though. You, you know are? what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. You got that song. Yeah. I, I, What's it called? Pussy water. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the branding doesn't stop there. The branding does not stop yeah. there. Okay. <laughs> Uh, can you can you say a couple I guess lines of the okay. song? Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Hold on. Okay. Let's pussy water, pussy water, pussy water, pussy water, pussy water, pussy water, <laughs> pussy water. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's that's it. a that's a couple bars. I love you. I killed like it. You <laughs> killed it. You killed that. That nigga. Lip yeah. rub. Bars on bars. On bars. Oh man, what y'all? Yeah, we got a sign bro. I know, right? You got a sign up. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm could have been. I'm, I'm coming for you. Come on now. Yeah. yeah. What's your own? Holla at my girl now. Yeah. Nice. There you go. Mm -hmm. FIFA ain't fucking around out here. I'm not. MC FIFA. MC FIFA in this bitch. Come on now. Nice. Yeah. Um, so I got some random questions for mm -hmm. you. Random. Random time. Um, which famous couple would you want to have a threesome with? I like it. I like it. I think back when uh Kanye was fucking with uh what's that girl name? Amber Rose. No. <laughs> uh Kim, Kim, Kim. Kim Kardashian. Yeah, 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 my bad. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I'll probably do them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. 
But I want to go to the bank after. Yeah. Oh, I see what you did. You see, see what I'm saying? Did. Actually, you want to go to the bank before. Wait, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. To the bank we could go to the bank before and after. Yeah. They're professionals. There you go. They're professionals. <laughs> um, what is something you've always wanted to tell somebody, but you were afraid to say? I'm really not afraid to say shit. That's true. I can tell. Um. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm really bad at this. Mm. So can I um get some money? I'm really bad at asking for the money, so that's why I got here. Uh, I got her here. That makes sense. To help actually. me get the money. Um, how do you handle conflict? I beat a bitch ass. All right. I like that. When, when they go low, you go lower. <laughs> when they go low, I go to hell. Okay. Oh. There, there it is. Where right are you going to meet me? Come on. We can go to heaven. I'm going to hell. You're going to have to go up. Oh. FIFA Obama. <laughs> yes. Going to bomb on your ass. Yes, for sure, every if time. If your life was a movie, what would it be called? I don't watch movies like that. Mm. So, um, I'm gonna go with Trick. Trip? Trick. Trip? Trick. Oh, Shrek. Yeah. You can come with your own title. Oh, my own title for a movie? Yeah. Pussy Water. Of course. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> That's the best movie. Not surprise me at all. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. Um, oh, what's your type in a man? My type? Mm hmm. No. M O. Money. Oh, money. That makes sense. Yeah. Because with money. I'll be typing it. Got it. it. Yeah. Got it. Makes sense. I see what you did right there. You saw that? You saw that? Typing it out. Got you. Yeah. Yeah. And my last question Mm -hmm. before we go Mm -hmm. is... If you were a stripper, what would your stripper name be? (laughs) You got to ask me another question because I'm always say pussy boy. I, 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 I get a dance from you. I definitely get a dance. Yeah, tell pussy talk, water, yeah. pussy water to the stage. Yeah. If I didn't pussy want to dance, pussy water to the stage. If, if I didn't want to dance, and she told me her name was Pussy Water, I would get a dance. Yeah. yeah. I, I like that. But I can't dance. Sure. I be. Oh. Oh, you want to? Yeah, I crump. I'm a guy too. Hold on. Where you saying you were from again? New Jersey. New Jersey. Are you from? Yeah. Hey, we be crumping. Hey, Lit FIFA is off the chain. She is. Where can they find you at on Instagram? You can find me at Pussy Water FIFA. You can find me at FIFA Kick Flavor or Pussy Water. Pussy Water is spelled with an X. P X, because you know they was they kept. We gotta talk about this because Instagram, y'all be tripping. I can't post Pussy Water nowhere. I gotta spell it with an X. P X S S Y Water. You know how to spell water? If you don't know how to spell water, you're probably not drinking it. Ooh. I like what you did. I like that. Mm. Thank you. I appreciate you. You're welcome. Thank For you, sure. Mom. Yeah, Okay, now, this is another thing. You know, you and Calvin Johnson getting drafted at the same time, going to the same team. Yeah. You know, you you got to, you actually going with somebody that can help you. Yeah. You know, he knows your game. You know his yeah. game. How did, how, how, by what design was that actually able to happen? That was crazy. See, Calvin ain't had to worry about fucking getting to the league. He was going number one or, or first round, no matter what, top three pick. I, I snuck in the back door on the free agent shit. I was a quarterback, but of course, back then, they weren't looking at guys at 5'9", 5'10", with somewhat of an athletic uh, skill set to play that position. Mm. But as you can see, that's all over the fucking league now. But it's cool. You know, here we go back to the first on, the first on type shit. Got you. But um, Got you. uh, Lo and behold, we end up in the same spot, lockers right next to each other. And I kid you not, man, after that uh, first season, um... You get to buy your jersey, or you get to keep your jersey. And I think that I got one, and I wanted to buy another one. And for some reason, I ain't have my wallet. And my dog just said, hey, whatever it is, tell me what it is, and I got it. Calvin looked out for me and got me one of my first jerseys. First get NFL jersey. So me and Calvin got a lot of history together, man. And uh, he, he gave me a good shout-out on that other podcast, The Pivot. You know, um, yeah. And it, yeah. That was the only recruit I hosted. In my four years at Georgia Tech, you you, you ain't gonna, you ain't been on the pivot yet. Not yet. I ain't that big yet, but I'm getting there. No, you big enough to go on the pivot. We gonna talk. We gonna we gonna get there. Yeah, we gonna get there. You, you you know you you know on Ryan them. What's that? You know Ryan Clark now? I don't know Ryan um, personally. I'm gonna put a word in for you. That's you, my dog. You know that's like football. Football arena is like a fraternity. Yeah, yeah, it is. 
So all you got to do is mention your name mm. or mention a guy's name mm. and immediately, you know what I mean, memories come and, and you start to remember who this guy is, where he's from, and mm. you connect the dots. But uh, nah, Jack, that shit coming, bro. I, I, he, I, I, I know he know you. I know, I'm sure. That's yeah, his yeah. job. You yeah, know what I mean? 100%. He, super Kirk Herb Street showed me a lot of love every time I run into him. I was mm. I saw him in Austin last year, so... You know, I, I guess my name still ring a bell somewhat. One hundred percent. Dog, I'm fi- I'm gonna hit Ryan today and tell him he need to. Man, don't be lying to me on this motherfucker. I podcast. swear to God, okay. I right. got Music Soul Child on there. I know I can get you on there. Oh, you fuck with music too? Yeah, we got the same manager. All of them. Yeah. Okay, cool. All of them. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you you and um you and Calvin, man, y'all get to the Detroit Lions, man. He's kicking ass. Taking names and whatnot, you know. I need to know when you first, when you got your first check, when you get that first draft into your your account and everything. Wh- what do you do? What? Because I know you didn't spend some money before you even got it. I'm gonna tell you what I did. That first year, one, we didn't whoop ass. We was we was a part of that 0 and 16 team. Um, we had about it had so many people hurt that year. It's random as shit. So we were gonna ask. You don't care about that though, right? Yeah, no, I was getting my check every month. Okay, that's what I'm talking but, about. But. Uh, my first, I ain't gonna lie to you. I think for my my first four or five checks, I put in a Nike shoe box and I didn't touch that shit. I didn't touch it. But by around week six or seven, man, we they back in uh, what was that two thousand seven eight? Detroit had some of the best strip clubs in the country, <laughs> and inside these strip clubs, they had some of the best food in the city. Uh, so. I like to entertain myself quite often. I love Detroit. Come on now. They had some of the best strip clubs. I don't know what the strip club scene looked like up there right now, but back when I was coming up, bro, Detroit and Atlanta had the best strip clubs in the country. Hey, I always left the club with my finger stinking in Detroit. Come on, man. Yeah. My finger wasn't never stinking in that motherfucker, but I was in there. (laughs) I used to go up there with Trick Trick. And, um, trick trick, yeah, 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 yeah. He biggest fucking Detroit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I had made trick trick a millionaire. Couldn't do it for myself. I believe you, bro. So people don't know about your pioneering ass track. You, you part of that first on, you know, uh, conversation as well, bro. That's why I'm excited to be on this motherfucker, man. I tell you all the time how big of a fan I am, Jack. I tell everybody in this motherfucker how big of a fan I am of you, uh, man, Jack. So, that, man, thank you so much, man. Nah, I, for I real. really received that, man. You got you got me tearing up over here. All the <laughs> it sounds good. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. But yeah, I, uh, I, uh, Detroit. How did how did uh, they treat you first year around? And what was the love? Give me give me some a wild. City ass. was cool. City was cool. Um, so aside from the entertainment aspect, uh, well, there's more entertainment with the, with the casinos up there. Yeah. Yep. Um, it's a whole different way of life, bro. So when you talk about, uh, the winners up there, the mm. winners are like eight to nine months. Yeah. That shit, I, I could, every time I got, every, every chance I got, I was on a plane back mm. home or Florida or somewhere else to get some sun. But other than that, man, Detroit was a lovely place. Uh, I got two kids that were born up there in Beaumont Hospital. Um, it's home to them for sure. Um, but nah, man, I, I I have nothing but good things to say about the city of Detroit. Playing in the snow, I ain't playing the snow. You know we had the dome and shit. Okay, we had the playing snow. in the winter time. Yeah, I did practice in that shit. How do you feel about that? It was terrible. It was I could not get warm for anything, and you know, like the are ice baths even necessary after we're inside that type of weather when you when you're around that type of weather. And after crazy ass workout, do you, did, was y'all even doing ice baths? I wasn't big on that shit. Okay, and other guys were. Don't okay. get me wrong, but again, I, I I played quarterback all my life. Okay, so I wasn't getting you know what I mean the beat down everybody else was. So mm. they protect. I could kind of yeah. So every now and then I get an ice bath, but fuck no, I wasn't doing that in Detroit. Mm. No chance. Mm. Unless I was hurt, which I did do a couple times, but it was it had to be something drastic for me to get in. Mm. What's the worst you ever been hit? Um. Odell Thurman knocked the shit out of me one time down in, uh, in Georgia in Athens. It was a quarterback draw. And um, I tell people all the time, he was probably the most gifted defensive player that I went up against. Mm. Um, he ended up winning defensive rookie of the year in the NFL. I'm not sure what happened to him after that. Um, but Odell Thurman, that was the only time I got hit and it actually hurt. And I was like, oh, I, like I grunted going to the ground. but. Mm. Other than that, man, Mario Williams, uh, Greg Blue. 
Greg Blue was a hell of a fucking competitor. Mm. Tank, um, D Lyman at NC State. I played against some dogs. They had some linebackers uh, at Auburn. I can't name them. Vince Hall at V Tech. Some guys, I played against a lot of guys. Miami, when they started getting their shit together, you know what I mean? They mm. ranked number three when he, when we went down there and knocked them off. So I played against some dogs, but Odell Thurman, he sticks out in my, in my head all the time. Top five greatest uh, 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 wide receivers. I, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, uh, quarterbacks of all time to you. Quarterbacks of all time? All the time. All right, look, this is my list. This is your list. This is yours. My favorite quarterback is Brett Favre. Favorite quarterback is Brett Favre, so we can start there. Um, Brett Favre, I got to put Vic on there because he just transcended the league and he made uh, GMs open their eyes. Um, Steve Young, Joe Montana. How many more I got? One more. One more? Uh, not going to say Tom Brady. Not Tom. Any particular reason? I think Tom Brady cheated like a motherfucker for like three or four years. Man. Okay. Playing with a deflated ball okay. and recording fucking practices at the Super Bowl. Okay. But um, we'll, but if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying now. He ain't never lied about that. This, I, I think, think that's it. one of the biggest thing, mistakes that we make in life is thinking the fight is uh, uh, fair. Playing fair like a motherfucker yeah. is so lame. Yeah. I'm with you on that. Um, so I need one more quarterback, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, let's throw Steve McNair on there. Okay. I like it. I like it. Mm-hmm. Who influenced you growing up and whatnot? Who who is who who did you look up to? Who said who you that's made you want to go pro? Shit. I had a lot of influencers, but like I spoke about Brett Favre, um, just the way he played, and you could tell, and now hindsight, you know, all the stories are coming out, just how wild he was out the field. That was my vibe. Like, we're going to play, we're going to have fun, but we're going to win at the same time. Mm. So I, I really like Brett Favre and watching him. Steve Young was pretty big, too. Um, but I looked at outside of football arena, man. I was looking at, like, believe it or not, man, T.I. was one of the biggest influences for, for me when I was coming up. Because when I came up, that I'm Serious album came out, and nobody fucked with T.I. then. Nobody, nobody knew about that I'm Serious hit with Beanie Man. But I was beating the block down to that shit every day before school. You know what I mean? And I saw the way he was moving. I saw the way he was talking. And I was like, yeah, that's Atlanta. You know what I mean? Um, Deion Sanders was a big influence. Um, I actually got to see him on the street several times, and he would always show love. He would always wave. He would always take time to stop and say what's up. Um, but other than that, man, it was it's, it's a lot of guys here. Now, Tequil Spikes and Carlos. Tequil, Edmonds. goddamn. Tequil Spikes, Carlos Edmonds. And I know I'm, I'm forgetting a lot of professional guys that I actually trained with coming up in high school. Shout out to all them, Impact tra- uh, Sports, Rob Stevens uh, and my dad. But Tequil Spikes and Carlos Evans were like the first two big-time professional guys that I actually trained with. Mm-hmm. And they, they also showed me, hey, you got to do this. You got mm-hmm. to work like this. You got to do this. And, you know, I, heard, I, I, I learned a very hard lesson visiting to kill spice one time um on just how to act outside the arena and being aware of who's around mm. you know what i mean so sometimes you can't roll up that little blend over there when this guy's around sometimes you can't be going crazy with the tequila when this person's around you got to be able to be politically correct in in some arenas especially when you got certain characters floating about so mm. now they they showed me a lot of the ropes and I don't even think they know this. Probably they probably know this shit now, now that I'm talking about it. But they showed me how to move for real. So shout out to them. Word. Now, what's your predictions for Dion this year with uh in our Boulder? If he goes to a bowl game, it's a win. And I think they're going to a bowl game. I think they'll win six games. Got you. Anything outside of that, man, we still we still pushing. That it's still a stretch for him. Yeah, you can't count them out, right? Yeah. No, I mean, you can't count them out, but it's hard to count them in. Because the landscape has changed, man. They, they, Alabama got a lot of money. USC got a lot of money. Texas got a lot of money. And they actually letting these boys have salaries. So I don't know how much Colorado has. But, I mean, these guys are already the, you know, the blue bloods of college football. So they got a head start on them. But I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to them at least getting into a bowl game. Mm. Yeah. Now, do you feel like he going to have the, um, the same uh, turnout, you know, off the rip? 
Absolutely. Being the way, okay. Absolutely. So the way he ended ain't going to be a reflection on the way he begins this year. No, nah, I think I think it's going to be a buzz, but he rode the buzz all year last year. Mm. Now, if they don't start fucking winning quick, that should have died out. Okay. So he got like a almost like a four to five game trial. Mm. Now, if they winning, they around 500, they competing, they showing glimpses glimpses of or, or or some type of showing some type of hope that they got something mm. you know people stay tuned in mm. but ain't nobody finna be staying up to two o'clock watching that goddamn colorado state game if mm. they ain't winning so he he gotta come out the gate swinging yeah. uh, what's the best case scenario for shadow sanders for you what what should yeah. well from where you sit what should he do what direction should he go one he gotta stay healthy he has to stay he healthy um and two um Honestly, he put up numbers last year. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So if he can build off of what he started last year, stay composed, and, uh, you know, ultimately win, you know what I mean? I think, I think he'll, he'll, he'll do well in the NFL, or he'll at least get the shot of doing well in the NFL. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Kirk Cousins, Falcons. Uh, how do you feel about that, uh, that choice that they made and whatnot? They didn't put them putting Mike, what was it, Mike Felix? My, I'm gonna say Michael P because I don't want to mispronounce that motherfucker last name again and Pink, go viral. Yeah, yeah right. Pen how, how you say it? Uh, uh, Felix, I said Felix. Phoenix. <laughs> oh, penis! Uh, I see what you did. <laughs> you stupid. I, it wasn't me this time. <laughs> but Michael P, I, I'm still confused, Jack. Still confused. You don't know why they um, did that. So we got the sanctions to where we can't draft in the first round. I believe this year. So I think they got word that we were going to get um, penalized for tampering or whatnot with uh, uh, Kirk Cousins. So I think they kind of thought ahead, or wanted to get ahead of the curve and, and drafting Michael P. Mm. That's the only logical explanation that I could come up with. Mm. But even still, man, that, that's still putting a, uh, that's still a big gamble. You mm. know what I mean? But, you know, hopefully it works out because I'm a Falcons fan, man. I'm, I always root for the home team. Mm. Yeah. I, I felt like they, they didn't have nothing to lose, and they, they could have offered Cam that money, man. Shout out to Cam. Like, very, very where, big where, where you sit with that? Am, am, am I tripping in? Is Cam too over the hill to come off the bench and get that position over a Kirk Cousins? Cam, Cam Newton intimidates every team in the NFL because, one, of his statue, and, two, he's a proud black man. And that scares people. So... One, you know, you want to be able to control your quarterback. You want to be able to control every athlete, I think, when it comes to the coaching and, and I guess, the general manager positions or player personnel positions. And Cam, and Cam is his own entity. You know what I mean? So it'll be very hard to um, put Cam in a bottle, whether he's a backup, whether he's a starter, you know what I mean? Because he's just that much, he's that demonstrative. Mm. And he's that big of a character. You mm. know what I mean? So... Cam is almost bigger than any team in the NFL, and I think he's realizing that now and, and going crazy with his podcast, you know, with the fourth and one stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Word. You're, you're a celebrity uh, personal trainer now, and you have your own gym. I, I, I train. I don't just train celebrities, though. I train everybody. So, but I do have. Well, you, I, I would I would go ahead and call you a celebrity trainer, and if if I, I was if I was on the outside looking in, don't do that. And somebody that uh, I was somebody like, oh shit, that's fucking Reggie Ball. Let me. So hey, that let, mean if he trained me, then I'm I'm in. Tell you this: when Carlos Miller pull up, mm. that's they say he's coming. I, that's when I become a celebrity trainer. I've had Walker Flocker, uh, who else? And that don't count. Pre Preston Smith just came in. The team, that don't man. count. Uh, who else? It's, I, it's, it's, my mind is going blank right now. But again, I don't consider myself no damn celebrity trainer. Mm. Jeremy Anderson, shout out to Jeremy Anderson. But until Carlos Miller, you got oh yeah, poor minds, them big booty. Up. Oh yeah, Lex P, big booty Lex. Yeah, now, now fuck with me. From yeah, time to time, Lou Young. Don't don't try to skip over me calling talking about Lex Booty now. <laughs> and I, but go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, now. <laughs> but yeah, she is blessed for mm. sure. Yeah, she is. Uh, yes, she is. But yeah, man, until Carlos pull up. You train Dre too? Who? You train Dre? Yeah, Dredd they come in at the same time all the time. Yeah, damn. Yeah. They be wearing all black uh, they you know, dress, on, the, on the bottom spots. They dress nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers be, they be wet. They, they be in their shit, they bro. They be in their wet. Them girls be in there looking good. And yeah. shout out to Lex and Dre. Yeah. And I tell them this all the time. Yeah. 
typically you get fine ass women like that come in the gym. Typically. And they don't work. Okay. They just be blessed. Yeah. And they just prissy as fuck. Yeah. Them girls work. Yeah. They work out. Yeah. And the way we keep our gym, yeah. sometimes that motherfucker be hot. Yeah. Oh. 75, 80 degrees. They be sweating, bro. Man, yes, nigga. They sweat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. <laughs> Shout out to poor Mize, man. Shout out to him. Shout out to him. Wherever they are. <laughs> but yeah, man. So you you your uh your your part you have two partners and whatnot, and yours is ball fitness. Uh so it we work under the brand Effect Fitness. Shout out to Dooley, the owner, the creator of, of those innovative workouts and boot camp classes that we do. Mm. Uh, my other partner, Sheon Green, he runs his green team. That's a cool name, uh, Sheon Green. Yeah, Tiff County, country boy. Okay. Real good, real good dude. Real good dude. That nigga sound like he could pick up some shit. Well, that nigga's like 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and he's about 230, so yeah, he up there. Damn. Um, I might be embellishing a little bit, but he's Hey, a big get guy. it to him, bro. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, Tell people and I have I'm, the ball I'm six one. Tell people I'm six one. You're when six you talk one. To Jack Thriller six one. You yeah. know what I mean? He's still swole, still working out, staying in shape as Come well. Come on now. But uh, I run the ball effect. Um, the ball effect. That's yeah, hard. and just playing on uh, my name and oh, cool. both uh, me and my partner's company. So, you know, we just we just roll. And that's your real name, ball. Yeah, that B A L. That's crazy. We before them light skin niggas. You get the other ones. Oh, yes, you related to them? No, nah, I don't think so. Well, you know what? I, I ain't going to lie to you. What's the dad name? Lonzo. I love him. I love him. I. It's nothing wrong. It's, 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 it's nothing like seeing a man being so outwardly proud of his kids. Yeah. Can he reel it in from time to time? Yeah. But shit. He posed to though. I would rather go over the top. Yeah. Then, then to 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 not have my kids know, mm. or it had to have my kids question whether mm. I got their back or not. Mm. So shout out to their father for going as hard as they did, and yes, it did work because they're all in the league, they all professional, they all got fucking endorsements in some way, form, or fashion. So uh, shout out to them ball boys. But I, I'm pretty sure at some point we'll we'll connect the dots, and and, and you know we can it somehow, some way, form, or fashion. Mm. Did, 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 uh, do you feel like what's what's the correlation between your daddy and uh, Lonzo? Like, do you see any similarities? Shit, it might be. Uh, it, it, see, my dad would do that shit at QT with his partners That's or dope. at the gas station with his yeah. partners if if they begin to talk that shit. Mm. My dad is very humble. Mm. I guess he he kind of passed that off to all of us. Mm. Very modest. Mm. You know what I mean. So my dad could walk around, people know who he is, and he wouldn't have to say too much. Mm. But if you could begin to talk shit, mm. we some of the best shit talkers in the mm. game, still to this day. Mm. You know what I mean? So um, I guess it's kind of the exact opposite until you turn that switch on. So, mm. Nah, it's, it's some similarities, but he's not just outwardly like uh, Alonzo is. Mm. Yeah. What's your daddy uh, say to you to keep you out of trouble and everything from you know going around with the wrong crowds? So I uh, mentioned before my dad was a corrections officer. Okay. Uh, he would bring us to the jail and show us oh, wow. what the fuck would happen. You had real jail field trips. That scared straight shit? Yeah. I, I, could, I could look on that and tell you that shit was fake. You know they were doing the scared straight shit on, on TV, right? I, I went to a scared straight program. And that shit was bullshit, bro. I did that shit for real. And you remember Techwood Homes? Yes. My dad was a security guard down at Techwood Homes. At that corner store with, that the, the, the Chinese guy Charlie owned. And I'm talking about Tech What Homes when there was no street light. That's right. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. And yeah. some of these celebrities yeah. are out there on the fucking corners too. Yeah. But we ain't gonna do that. Mm. Mm -hmm. My dad mm. would take me down there when he would do security, me and my brothers. Mm. And it was so funny. The, my, my brother Ray Sean, he would always have a knife in his back pocket. You mm. know what I mean? Just in case some shit went down. And mm. my daddy would laugh like, nigga, we ain't finna let nothing happen to you. Mm. But uh, shout out to Charlie and that family that own that corner store. Um, man, they 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 showed us love, man. And I wouldn't trade that shit for the world. I saw some funny shit. I saw some scary shit. But again, all that exposure showed me, shit, I'm going to go ahead and do my homework, do these push-ups, and make sure I ain't, I ain't ended up like none of these niggas over here. What's the wildest shit that you did see when you um, went in the scared straight, when your daddy took you on a scared, his well, own? It was, I think, a lady stabbed a dude right outside the door. Mm. Uh, over some dumb shit. 
I think they were arguing on boyfriend, girlfriend type shit. Or they could have been geeking or something like that. But so, uh, a lady stabbed a dude right outside the door. But luckily, my dad, it was like perfect timing. He caught me right before we was, because we would go in and out. We would go around the store, go in and out, you know what I mean, and just mingle a little bit. But luckily, at this 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 particular time, my dad was literally right there at the door. And, you know, we stayed away from that shit, stayed clear of it. Mm. Yeah. Did he let them talk to you too? Hell yeah. Like? Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. And my dad, uh, he, my dad, of course, he, you know, he was ready. We we always had protection on deck. You know what I mean? And yeah. He had a big, he, he loves big dogs. He had Nikita. He would take around um, having the back of the truck. So we always protected. You know what I mean? But he So, hold on. This had, is in the, this in the prison? Hell no! Nah. This this in Techwood at the corner store. Okay, gotcha. He you. wouldn't bring that shit to the. I'm like, your, your, your dad? Who your dad? It was goddamn legend bringing them. On some real shit, my, it's still some fucking urban legends going around about yeah. my dad mm. down there at the jail. But mm. you know, we'll leave that out. Got you. Um, but nah, I mean, he just exposed exposed us to everything. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, it's like it's similar to what I do to my kids now. Because if we ride by. Seeing homeless people, you know what I mean, or seeing somebody in an unfortunate event, mm. I stop and I say, "If you don't do your homework, this is what you'll end up. This mm. is what happens." Mm. You know what I mean? So, um, my oldest two for sure, they getting it, they got it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, my cousin. Um, as a matter of fact, I had brought him here last week when I, when he was a uh, nav show yeah. with me towards the end. Yeah. Uh, he just he he's he's thirty four now. He's uh in the army. Yeah. And he just uh, sometimes he like look back down memory lane. Yeah, and I keep telling him not to do that shit because he be wondering what happened to niggas. <laughs> and it was his Man. chick that he liked, oh and now she strung out on uh, crack and no. homeless and all this other shit. No, and this nigga actually called her on Facetime because she on, on Facetime because she was on Facebook. Yeah, and he was like like really worried about her, and I was like, nigga, no, <laughs> don't do that. This happens. You keep on living. Hey, you gonna man, see people, what happened to people. People stay in that bubble, bro. Yeah, and it's, it's very hard for them to break. But you know, hopefully, hopefully, you you are encouraging change and growth to your partner, man. Yeah, he comes up out of it for sure. Yeah, yeah, because you can't really feel sorry for shit like that. You got to keep it moving and go yeah, live I'm your own life, you, bro. You feel sorry for that shit, you be right, but right there beside you. One hundred percent, bro. Mm-hmm. Best advice you ever got, and the worst advice you ever got. Best advice I ever got. Was to change, constantly reinvent yourself. Um, the worst advice I got was to never change and to stay the same. Um, change is, in, is is inevitable. That keeping it real, well, staying the same, keeping shit the same, which which some people would equate that to keeping it real, man, that's some bullshit. If you ain't growing, you ain't changing. If you ain't changing, you will never grow. That's right. If I don't. I don't. I don't want to go back to that same street. I don't want to talk to that same girl. I don't want to do the same shit, bro. What I'm doing right now, Jack Thriller. Next year, I'm gonna be on the pivot. Next I don't want to be. I don't want to be on Jack Thriller show. Next Come on. <laughs> I want. Bro, I want broken play. Broken play gonna be touring next year. That type of shit. And I'm going to be a real celebrity trainer going on sets, off and on sets for these motherfuckers to stay in shape while they filming next year. You know what I'm saying? So that change, that change is inevitable, bro. So that's the best advice I ever got was to constantly change and keep growing. If you ain't evolving, you evaporating. Damn right. 100%. Damn right. Um, Is there anything you want to say to New Jack Thriller City, man, before we get up out of here? Because this ain't the last time. Hey, which camera is mine? This one? All right, look, y'all. This right here is a red hand. This is my birthmark, okay? I can't wash this shit off. I done thought about tattooing flames over this shit and making it cool, but hell, it's just red, all right? Ain't nothing wrong with me. Ain't nothing wrong with it. It works. It grabs. It feels. Now, sometimes when I get cold, it does become a little bluish purple, and the hotter I get, it becomes red, crimson red, but this ain't nothing but a birthmark. Your camera ain't fucked up. Your eyes ain't fucked up. And now, nah, player, you ain't that high. My hand is really red. So let's go ahead and nip this shit in the bud because I see y'all in the comments. I see y'all in the DMs. It's just a birthmark. And if it scares you, I feel it. But this motherfucker works very good. 
That shit, that, that's, I mean, excuse me, that's it. Man, I didn't know that is what you was fixing to do right there. Nigga, you can't see my hand, so. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you yeah, ain't even know I had a red. the hell of a hand. <laughs> Is, is that, is that, hey, that shit, that motherfucker still give me paid now. Is that, is that, was that the one? It was my throwing hand, yes. Wow. Yes. So it ain't from catching bullets? No, nah, I, I ain't catching no damn bullets, man. It's just a birthmark. birthmark. Got you. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Hey, man, yo, Reggie, once again, I, I appreciate you coming through here and blessing me, man. And I hope that you come back and we can have some more sports talking. Because there's so much more that we need to cover, man. But I know you got some more famous shit to do. <laughs> And so until next Jack, time. Thank you, bro. For real, thank you. My pleasure. For real. He just going to take us out. Let's take some pictures. Hell yeah. My nigga. <laughs>